When you differentiate between a male and female on African elephants, boys, their tusks, they are much bigger. Like that one, that's a male elephant. Female tusks, their tusks are a little bit smaller. Why do elephants have tusks? Hmm. You don't know why they have it? Uh, yeah. eh? Why they have it? Mm. Uh, for me, it's a teeth. Uh, yes, in fact, it is a teeth. Uh, so, which means it also works like a, they use it as a weapon, weapon, yeah, for defensive mechanism. So that's why elephants they have tusks, and when they use those tusks, uh, they are also left or right-handed, just like any other creatures. They tend to use one tusk better than the other one. Mm. So if you see the tusk is shorter on the left, you must know it's left-handed. If it's short on the right, it's a right-handed elephant. And they grow all the time like our fingernails. Each year, the tusk of the elephant will grow up to 14, 17 centimeters. And if the tusk breaks, it does grow back. If it breaks in front, if it breaks inside where they put nails, it will never grow back. Mm. So that's what happens. Yeah, and uh, the molars as well, they do grow back uh, depending on where they break, uh, they've been damaged from as well. That's how they usually do. And they also have so many air cells in their head. The air cells, they use it when they go into the water, when they swim. You know, elephants are semi-aquatic. They go in the water and they can swim. They don't have any problem. So these keep the head on float. That's why they're excellent swimmers. And they also use uh, the air cells to prevent the concussion on their brain when they fight. Eyesight, they're very poor. They cannot even see colors. They mainly see black and white. Only. Yeah, black and white color. That's what they see. Oh. We, 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 we can see in, in spectrum, elephants only see black and white. And the size of their brain, how big is their brain? The size of the brain is about five and a half kilograms. Heart weighs up to 28 kilograms. So they've got a very, very big heart. And they've got a four-chambered heart as well, just like us. Oh. And their heartbeat, when the heart pumps, very slow compared to most of the animals. Their heartbeat goes up to 28 beats a minute. When they walk faster, it can go up to 35, some up to 40 beats a minute. And they eat a lot of food. One elephant every day need to eat approximately 5 and 10% of their body weight. And mm. they can only extract 40% of what they eat. 60% comes out undigested. Mm. Yeah, this is an example. One elephant. Uh, they, they, couldn't, they could eat up to 250, 300 kilograms, mm. one elephant every day, up to 300 kilograms. And they have a very poor digestive system. They can only extract 40% of what they're taking, 60% comes out undigested. If you go in the natural habitat in the wild, you might get so many other wild animals eating the dung of the elephant because they still have a lot of unprocessed food. Mm. 
Yeah. And also, this is a very good compost. If you have a garden, use it for the flowers. Yeah. It makes the flower to grow very nice. Yeah. Do you need that? Do you need it as a souvenir? Yeah. So pregnancy of the elephant. How long is the gestation period? Most two years. Yeah. Yeah. They carry the baby inside for two years, and uh, and they can also have twins, but it's not common. Usually, it's one baby. And when a baby elephant is delivered, for them to be able to walk, it takes within a few minutes. They are up on their feet, start running. Very cute when they are born. Young babies when they are born, uh, they, have you seen them? They don't know how to use this part of their trunk. They think the trunk is a toy. In, oh. most, case, in most cases, when, you see the, the, when they see the trunk, it's a t they always chase it. Have you seen a dog chasing its own tail? Baby, the elephant, they also do the same thing. They trade their own trunk because they don't know what it is. And this is one of the most important parts for the elephant. They use the trunk mainly for breathing. They breathe through there and they drink through. They don't drink through the trunk. They use the trunk like a straw. Yeah, they suck up the water and they put the water back into the mouth. Mm -hmm. And they could drink up to 100 to 150 uh, liters of water a day. That's the amount they need to drink. And when mommy elephant is delivering the baby, they deliver standing up, not sitting on the ground. When they drink, have you seen cows, horses, when, when they feed their babies? Where do they drink milk? Yeah, so when elephant baby drink, they drink in between the front legs. They use their mouth to drink from there. Ah. Yeah. Most of the animals, horses, buffaloes, when they feed their baby, they feed them from the back. And most, uh, you know, big elephants, when they drink, they use the trunk to, su to suck the water and they put the water into the mouth. When baby drink from there, they don't use the trunk. They use the mouth direct from their mother because they can't use their trunk. Elephants have similar features like us. They have similar bone structure. They've got a wrist, elbow, knee, and the ankle. And they also have toenails. The toenails, they are made of the same material like our toenails. They're made of keratin. They have five in front and four at the back. And the shape of the front foot is more round in front, the back foot is oval. And if you found an elephant footprint, let's just imagine this is a foot here. Uh, if you found a foot which is round, you want to know the height of that elephant using its foot, you must use the formula of a circle. Yeah. Or you can, what you can do, you can just multiply. If you multiply the circumference of the front foot by two and a half, it gives you the height of the elephant from here to here. That's how you can find how tall they are. Oh. Yeah, so last but not least, when they go to sleep at night, young elephants, when they sleep, they lie on the ground. Big ones, they sleep standing up. Why they have to be on their feet when they get older? Because the weight affects their lungs. Mm. And also in the wild, it gets too dangerous if they lie down. It would be easier for lions to kill them because they can't get up quickly. So they feel more vulnerable. So that's why they have to be on their feet 24-7. images.